Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ida. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to review the new line from TGIN, which is their Miracle Repair line. And it's a line to strengthen your natural hair. And it also provides some moisture as well. Their main ingredients here are black castor oil, biotin, and raw black honey. And so today, it is my wash day. And I'm going to share with you guys how I got this beautiful hairstyle with their amazing products from this line. So this is what my hair looks like after washing it with the shampoo and using their protein treatment. And so this is the shampoo and I absolutely love it so much. I'm actually gonna include it as one of my new favorite shampoos. And I love it so much because it cleansed my scalp and my hair so well without leaving it stripped and dry. And so I really love that and I actually followed that up with their protein treatment. And I love this protein treatment because it has hydrolyzed wheat protein, which is one of my favorite proteins for my hair. And it actually was a bit stronger than my usual protein treatments which is what I wanted because my hair definitely needed that extra strength but I love that it didn't make my hair feel super hard I just had to make sure to follow that up with a very moisturizing deep treatment okay so I'm gonna start off with sectioning my hair and I'm going to apply their miracle leave-in and this is one of my favorite products from the line because it is so moisturizing you guys it's very very rich in texture and just really absorb so easily into my low porosity hair, which is such a bonus for my hair. I always make sure to smooth that in and focus more on the ends. And what I also loved about this leave-in conditioner is that it smells so amazing. The smell just lingers in your hair all day long and it just smells so amazing. It's kind of like a floral, fresh scent. So I really, really love that so much. And I also noticed that my hair was very easy to detangle. And after I finished tangling my section, I went ahead and blow dried my hair. And so what I love about this line, especially when it comes to strengthening properties, I'm doing a lot more blow dryer styles and protective styles. And you know, because it was winter and it was very cold, my hair definitely needs more protein than usual. Um, and so that's why I love to, you know, try out different lines when it comes to strengthening properties. But because I have low prostate hair and protein sensitive hair, I have to always be careful uh, which proteins I'm using in my hair. So that's why I love this line so much because I do feel like it is very very low porosity and protein sensitive friendly because I have protein sensitive hair I definitely still need protein in my hair but just not as often as others may need for their hair and you have to also make sure to use the right proteins at the right time and depending on what you're doing with your hair so as you can see I'm all done blow drying my hair and like I said I definitely do need to do a trim but I think I'm going to wait and go to a professional hair stylist for this one to make sure I get my shape and so now I'm gonna go in with their daily moisture Moisturizer, and I absolutely love this product so much. The consistency was perfect. Usually with butters, I can't use any type of butter, especially the really heavy ones, because they usually just sit on top of my hair and it leaves my hair feeling dry. This one was able to absorb into my hair so easily and I loved it so much, especially for these type of protective styles, because you wanna make sure that your hair is able to retain a lot of moisture. Then I'm gonna go ahead and seal that in with their anti-breakage serum. And their main ingredients there is the coconut oil and also the raw black honey, but it's also a mixture of other oils together as well. And I love it because it's so nice and light and it seals in all that moisture. And this will ensure that the hairstyle lasts all week, nice and moisturized. And I just wanted to mention for those that have low porosity hair and protein sensitive hair like I do, I can use coconut oil when it is mixed in with other oils and other ingredients. Um, and if it's in a smaller quantity, rather than when it's by itself, then my hair will feel hard and brittle. And so this one, I did not feel my hair being hard at all. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a beautiful Afro hairstyle, and that's using the Twisted Bantu Knot Method. And so it's super easy. I just take small to medium sections of my hair and then put it into a regular twist and then wrap it around that section into a Bantu knot out. And I love this hairstyle so much because it's beautiful it's super easy to do it doesn't take long and it's comfortable to sleep at night with the hairstyle and you don't have to wait two three days for your hair to dry because it's already blown out and it just very easy to keep your hair you know detangled when it's in a protective style as well and so that's what I'm doing I'm just basically having different rows of different sections on my hair putting it into a twist and then making sure to just wrap that around into a bantu knot so the easiest way to do a bantu knot for me is to just twist my hair in the direction of the twist and then just wrap it around that bantu knot 
and then it just tucks into the bantu knot and it just stays in place um, if you are having a hard time keeping your bantu knot in place then you can go ahead and use a bobby pin or an elastic band but if you have enough moisture in your hair uh, with a the product then it's really easy to keep that bantu knot in place without any other product what I noticed with this hairstyle as well is that you always want to make sure that you are focusing more on the ends because when you unravel the style the next day um, your ends might be a little straight or you know frizzy so you want to make sure that you detangle your hair very well on the ends especially I usually use a rat tail comb to make sure that's fully detangled and then I'll apply a little bit of extra product onto the ends as well All right, so I'm all done now putting all the Bantu knots in my hair and this is what it's looking like. I wasn't too perfect with the spacing or anything like that. It doesn't really matter as long as you try to have every section, you know, considerably the same size, um, but it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that because like as you'll see right now, once I take it out the next day and fluff it out, it's just going to look like a beautiful afro. So I'm going to go ahead and take the serum again and apply that on my hair and this is going to help, you know, minimize the frizz when I'm taking it down. So as you can see, the curls look amazing when I take it out. And I actually like doing a twisted Bantu knot rather than a regular one because I notice that the twists provide more texture into the hair. And so that's what I really love as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take all the Bantu knots out and separate the twists. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and separate the twists into smaller sections. And I usually basically just let the twists and the sections fall uh, naturally so that I can minimize the frizz and basically the more you separate the more fluffier your hair will get but also it'll be less defined as well so it depends on how you want your hair to look but I was loving the way my hair felt and looked especially my hair felt super moisturized super soft I was really really surprised because sometimes when you do a style on blow dry hair sometimes your hair can look dry the next day because the heat kind of dried out your hair and it's hard to put back that moisture but I was very pleasantly surprised at how well my hair looked especially after you using you know a protein treatment and so I was really really happy my hair definitely felt you know much stronger and much healthier what I also did to minimize the frizz is that when I was separating each section I would kind of twist that section around in my finger um, but a little frizz doesn't really matter to me because it just looks natural and it just looks amazing regardless so my hair was looking so cute I loved it so much you guys and you're gonna see in the upcoming section how I use the afro pick to get even more volume with this hairstyle Picking out my hair with these hairstyles is like my favorite part because I just love big hair. The bigger the better for me so I can't wait to you know grow my hair even longer to get you know a bigger fro but I absolutely love this part. So you can do it in different ways. Sometimes I section my hair and afro pick it in each section to create even more volume or sometimes I just kind of put the pick wherever and not section my hair. So that's what I'm doing right now and I'm loving the way it looks. The bigger it gets the better it looks to me and it just looks so cute and it's perfect for the spring please let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this hairstyle have you guys ever tried it before and have you guys ever tried tjin miracle repair line i know this is a new line right now and i'm super excited to share with you guys i am going to have a separate video of my favorite protein products and i'll definitely include the hair treatment from this line and i'm definitely going to include some of the other products as well in this line as well as my favorites thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys like this video go ahead and subscribe like comment and share and thank you to Jayanne for sponsoring this video. Bye.